Well, the Keydats play Friday afternoon, their home opener in 2018, but fall just short. Uh, ETSU wins it by a score of 27 to 24. The Keydats just could not overcome six turnovers on the day, but plenty of bright spots uh, fought down the stretch. But in the final minute of play, the Keydats turn it over on downs, and ETSU prevails by three. Still some very positives today. Reese Udensky, VMI quarterback, throws for 305 yards. Also interceptions by Devin Carper, a pick six in the first half. In the second half, Colin Loftus with a long interception return to set up a VMI score. Keydats briefly took the lead, but ETSU came right back. So the VMI Keydats continue their quest in 2018 on the road next week at Western Carolina at 3.30. Now, quotes from head coach Scott Wackenheim in the postgame interview at Foster Stadium. You know, first quarter wasn't wasn't kind to us, but uh, the defense went out there, kept us in the ball game, and kept fighting. And until the offense uh, found a way to turn it around, uh, we had a couple uh, special teams uh, issues with the you know the punt return and kickoff return that we uh, had to address and fix. And uh, when we did, we ended up playing uh, well on special teams from from there on out. Um, we turned the ball over too many times and didn't do a good enough job protecting the quarterback on offense. I thought our defense played great. A, a wonderful bounce back game from last week. I, I just thought time after time they rose up. Um, you know, one of the touchdowns was on punt return, and then a couple times, you know, they gave up a touchdown on a short field, but they rose up and stopped them way too many times. Uh, it was it was very proud, you know, the last series of the game that they were out there before the take a knee when, um, you know, we called timeout. We said, hey, we got to stop them on this third down, and we did. Uh, they just rose up to the occasion every time they had the opportunity to do so, and, and it couldn't be prouder of them. A lot of people were, uh, you know, getting on their case a little bit after last week, and uh, they definitely uh, showed up this week and uh, showed people what VMI defense is all about. Now, our offense fought line. hard. I'm you proud of the effort the they put four out bad. there, but we line. turned it over six times. That's way too many times, and we gave up five sacks, I believe, which is way too many negative yardage plays. So we have to do a better job protecting the quarterback. we got to be stingy with the football in, in order to score points and win football games. I thought Reese played great. You know, you're out there, you're fighting, you're going to make mistakes. You never let it get him down, and, you know, Gave us a chance to win at the end of the game. So he'll learn from this. He'll get on film and he'll learn from this. But I think he's a great quarterback. He makes great decisions and uh, and gets us in the right play most of the time and is a very accurate passer. This team here, we, we elected 14 squad leaders in the offseason and um, we redefined our culture and our core values. And one of the core values that we came up as a team was grit. And, and grit means, you know, resilience. And I was just really proud that our young men showed their core values on display in that first quarter and gave us a chance to win the game because that to me was special. Uh, I, I gave the guys a quote Under after the Marshall. game, you know, from uh, Chariots of Fire uh, about, you know, with Harold Abrams and, and Eric Little. I, I'll probably Second screw it up because I don't have it written down there, but, the right side, you know, Harold Abrams is running and Diving Eric Little's grab. beating him in the 100 and he says, if, if I can't win, I won't the run. Right is and his girlfriend grab. Sybil said and to him, if you don't run, you can't win. Our team showed up and ran today. I'm proud of them.